Ray, Brewski, I'm in my zone like a two, three. Whoa. Sue me, Urban Gorilla, no Gucci. Yeah, the scriptures I be kicking like Bruce Lee. Check my precepts, raw than sushi. Summertime, so I stay in the cool B. Yeah. On the corner, throwing bums like I'm Drew Brees. Yeah. yeah. Tap out for your how will be bringing them guests out. Cut a heathen, cause he running his fat mouth. Off the dribble, I be balling like. Alright, first and foremost, we're gonna start off by saying, Call Hello, you help out, Shimmy Al Shai. That's all praise to the Most High God of Israel in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Christ. We are the Hebrew Israelites of the Sakari San Francisco sect, out here preaching peace and prosperity to the 12 tribes of Israel, also known as the uh, so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans on the Western Hemisphere of the world, man. Let's get right into it, man. Let's talk about our people and why we're going through these curses and what we need to do to get right. Same thing as always, man. Right? Go ahead. Start off in the book of Baruch, man, and see why we in the, why we're in this captivity right now. What's going on, man? Right? Because everybody tries to portray that the Bible is outdated, right? And there's not there's no relevance that you can see uh, from from back then to now. When the Bible is, is is a reason why it's called the living word of God, man. Right? Everything that goes on and that's being spoken about in the scriptures, we can see uh, happening uh, today, man. Right? Go ahead. This is, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. It says, now this is this book, right? The Bible is about uh, the Israelites, right? A people prophesied, a people that were uh, chosen to be God's chosen people, but also a people who were prophesied to have blessings and cursings, right? And we've seen that throughout most of the book, these people are going through curses, right? It says, now the Israelites were saying, behold, we are scattered this day as a reproach, right, and a curse amongst the heathen, right? And it said that they uh, they have they have been scattered and they're in captivity, right? We know when we look at historically, right, even from the time of us being taught from school when we were children, we know historically people who have gone into captivity were who we identify as people of color today, right? So-called black people, Latin people, even the Native Americans as quiet as kept. These are people that went through captivity, right? So when we look at some of the characteristics of the people of the Bible, it very much shows you that it fits the so-called black and Latin man. It fits the native man as well, right? But he said, what? Read that again from the top. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, uh -huh. where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. He said, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. Now, where did the Most High say that, right? Give me that in Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Because he said he was going to scatter us uh, uh, as a reproach and a curse in the Torah, in the laws of Moses, right? The parts of the Bible that the, the church tells uh, people not to read. Why? Because if you read these parts of the Bible, you would realize that the, the people of the book is the so-called black, Latino, and Native Americans. Is the people who went through slavery, slavery and captivity, right? Go ahead. Just, uh... Uh... Should be 45. Look at 45. No, verse 45, verse. So. Uh, yeah, it is a scatter. I don't know why I can see it. Uh, it's locked in. Shalom. Uh, uh, just give me Deuteronomy 4 and 27. 4 and 27. 4 and 27. Okay, yeah, that's cool too. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Uh huh. And, yeah. and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So we go back and we precept it, right? We go back to the law and we go back to the... Uh, to the, to the prophets, we see that uh, the Lord was talking about scattering the Israelites, right? This was something that was prophesied to happen, and it, it happened multiple times, right? The Israelites went through captivity multiple times, right? And are still in captivity to this day, right? right. That's why they call them the... Tw the when, when you look at uh, uh, all these, like, Bible scholars, these so-called Bible scholars and stuff like that, they say the lost tribes of Israel, right? They call them the lost tribes, right? Because they don't want anybody finding out who, who's uh, who's the real Israelites are, right? right? That's why they call them lost, right? Because in order for you to lose, uh, in, in order for you to uh, uh, find something, it has to be lost already, right? So they already know who the Israelites are, and they're pulling the sheep over. Uh, they're, they're pulling the sheet over everybody's head in the world and telling everybody that the Israelites are black. 
they're, they're, uh, are giving them a, a different name, right? They're, these people are black people. These people are Mexican. These people are this, that, and the third, right? Calling them everything but their actual nationality, right? But go ahead, go back to uh, Baruch 3 and 8. This is Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse uh -huh. and to be subject to payments uh -huh. according to all the iniquities of our fathers. So the Israelites are, are even to this day, are scattered uh, in, in captivity to other nations, right? Where they're subject to payments, right? For the iniquities of their fathers, right? Where they have to pretty much, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're stuck in solitude. They're I mean, a servitude, right? They're stuck in slavery, right? And when we look at America and how America was founded, America was built off of slavery, right? It was built off the blood, sweat, and tears of the so-called black lines and Native Americans, right? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you uh, identify that as a form of slavery? So wouldn't we be able to apply that scripture to the uh, uh, to the people who came over here and got got enslaved and had to uh, do exactly what this scripture says? Have to pay, uh, had to had to uh, be subject to payments, right? Payments on their own land that was stolen from them, right? That's that's everything. Everything that's planned out in this book is something uh, that describes the so-called Black Latins and Native Americans lifestyle, right? Go ahead. That's verse nine. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. Which departed from the Lord our God, right? That's why the Israelites are in uh, captivity to this day, right? Because they departed from the, we departed from the Lord uh, our God, right? We departed from the law that he gave us about how, uh, uh, the law of how we were going to pretty much uh, run ourselves in our communities and take care of each other, right? We started to, like, like the brother said, wanted to be like the Grecians, man. We wanted to glorify after the Grecians and be like the so-called white man, man. That's the problem with our people uh, today, right? Go ahead. You got anything else? Go ahead. Here, Israel, the commandments of life. Here are the commandments of life. That's what, that's what the law, statutes, and commandments that God gave us was for, for us to live, right? For us to prosper, right? Go ahead. Give ear to understand wisdom. Uh-huh. Give ear to understand wisdom. And what is wisdom? Give me that in Deuteronomy 4 real quick. It's time for our people to come back and give ear to wisdom, right? Because we give ear to everything else, but we don't understand or even know who we are as a people. And that's a huge problem. Go ahead. Verse 5. Uh, yeah, you can start. Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold. I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye say do so. What's going on? How you doing, sisters? Y'all looking at the signs? You looking at this one? This one caught your eye right here? This is the one that caught your eye? Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, you, uh, hablas espanol e inglés. You can't just say nobody knows. Give me that apocalypsis. Give me that apocalypsis, man. And it tells you what Jesus looks like in the, in the Bible. That's right. And he wasn't, a, he damn sure wasn't a white man. That's right. He wasn't that damn conquistador that got you believing in Catholicism. That's right. That's not who Jesus was. He wasn't no damn white man that came over here and enslaved and raped our people, man. But our people are like, see, you see, our people get uh, uh, offended by this, right? They get offended by seeing their, 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 their God, right? Because a lot of our people, right, in their hearts, their God is the white man. They get offended by seeing the, the, the white man being betrayed as exactly what he is, a devil, man. Right. right? They get offended at that. Oh, not Jesus Christo. Jesus Christo can't have horns, right? What's going on with you? How you doing? You know, okay, let me ask you. Can you can you show me in the Bible where Christ looks like a blonde haired, blue eyed white man? That's been yo? Okay, uh, damn. I'm not too fluent in Espanol. Uh, uh, hey, pregunta, pregunta, hermana. Uh, ¿Es Jesucristo uh, es blanco? ¿En, ¿En la Biblia? No, right? She said no. Right. Well, uh, que, que, que calor, que calor. Give me, give me, give me, uh, bring up the, the Dios habla soy. And give me Apocalypses, uh, uh, Apocalypses 1, uh, versículo 14. Let's go. I, I can, I can, I can, you know, say a little bit in Spanish, right? Go, give me that. 
Huh? Yeah, okay, come on. Let, yeah, pull it up. I can I can read it in Spanish. Apocalypse chat here, I got it, bro. Romana. All right, this is uh, this is Apocalypse uno, uh, uno, uh, capítulo uno, versículo catorce. Uh, es en sus cabellos arran blancos como la lana o como la nieve y sus ojos uh, parecían llamas de fuego. Uh, versículo quince. Sus pa sus país uh, uh, pies uh, Briaban como bronce, bronce uh, pulido, fundido en un horno, y su voz era tan fuerte como el ruido uh, de una cascara. And read it in English, right? Yeah, so for in Re Revelation 1 and 14 and 15. So when you read that in English, it says this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So it says his hair and his hairs were white like wool, right? Jesus Christ's head and hair is supposed to be white. That's the color, right? That's, that's the color. And then the texture of his hair is supposed to be wooly, right? So that's, that's, that's uh, we can cross that off for him right here. That doesn't fit this man, right? Go ahead. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And he had eyes as a flame as fire, uh, pretty much uh saying like he, he was angry looking right but we see this man he has he has he's a blue-eyed white man right go ahead verse 15 and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a, for, uh, a furnace right uh catch up uh you translate for me how do you how do you say uh your feet is the same color as your body So he had to, his feet were the same color of his body, right? And he was a dark skin. He's described as a dark skinned man, right? Exactly, right? So who is this man on the sign, right? Who is this man that 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 they portray to be Jesus Christ on this sign? Okay. So, uh, that my question to you, right? I'll use him as my translator. He, he wasn't black, right? Because some people like to say, okay, he lived in the Middle East, the so-called Middle East. Uh, he wasn't black. He wasn't white. So what? What? He he's described it as a per he's described as a human, right? What human beings on this earth ha uh, are described are you know, usually described as dark-skinned people with woolly colored hair. What people, what people, what people does that fit? So I'm going to get the deals I've lost. Did she ask what is the point? I think I can answer Okay. You mean, why does it matter? Okay. All right. Pull up the Dios habla soy. Give me Jeremiah 31. And the Dios habla soy. Give me verse 6 through 8. Right? And the reason why it matters, right? Do, do you... Uh, do you understand English or you just don't speak it? Okay. So, okay, so the reason why it matters is because Christ came back to save his people, right? So we have to identify who his people is because when you read it scripturally in the Bible, it's possessive, right? God has a chosen people and Christ has a chosen people that he came to save and try to die for. Okay. So lo que está diciendo es que Cristo vino, como dice Lucas, por su gente. So it's important to know who is the people of Jesus. Because obviously, if it says, John 7 and 38. 
in his heels out of his way. Okay. It's, so one. She has the Bible. She posts. One, seven. What? Okay, one, one, uh, one capítulo uh, siete, versículo uh, treinta y ocho. Okay. Good. Uh, so, okay, good. This is the book of one, um, capítulo uh, siete, treinta y ocho. El que cree en mí, como ha dicho la es escritura uh, de los más profundos de su, de su ser, Rotaran rios de uh, agua viva, right? So read that in English, right? Read that in English, so we can get we can translate for the people who don't understand in English, right? So he's basically saying, he who believes on it. Well, we're gonna get it actually. Go ahead. Verse thirty-eight. Cut. This is the book of John, chapter seven, verse thirty-eight. He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So he that believes on Christ, him that believes on Christ, as the scriptures have said, that out of his belly shall flow uh, the, the the living waters, right? Which is pretty much the truth, right? When you look at the living waters, it, it, uh, it's interchangeable with being the word of God, the truth, right? The truth of the Bible, right? So we see, right? We we see when we read Revelation, right? Apocalypse, that Christ is described as a dark-skinned man with woolly hair, right? But so many more, so many of our people going to these churches, and they see Christ as being a white man. Why is that? So lo que está diciendo con ese versículo dice que tienes que creer en la escritura como está escrita. Give me Ephesians five. Apocalipsis dice que es hombre moreno con pelo como lana. So es importante porque vas a la iglesia y te enseñan foto de un hombre que es blanco, ojos azules, pelo lacio. Obviamente no es lo que dice la escritura. Right. She says yes. I got you. I got you. One minute, brother. She says she agrees. She agrees. Okay, perfect. Right. So give me. Uh, actually, you, you can. You don't even. We don't even need, need to go there. Give me that in Jeremiah 31, real quick. Right. So this is why. Right. Because this is why it matters. Because we have to identify who Christ's people is. Right. And one of the ways we can identify is just identifying with what Christ is, is himself. Christ is described as a Negro in the Bible. Right. So if Christ is Negro, right, then what is the rest of his people? Jeremiah what? Jeremiah 31, uh, 31 and verse 6 through 7, right? Jeremiah 31, 6 through 7. Right? How do you say Jeremiah in Spanish? Jeremias. Jeremias? Okay, Jeremias. Uh, 31, uh, versículo 7 y 8. What? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter... I mean, 6, 6 y 8. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 7 and 8. Right. But thus saith the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations, publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. So Jeremiah, so the Lord's telling Jeremiah right here, sing among the chief of the nations, right? Sing among the chief of the, of the nations and say that the Lord is going to uh, save his people. He's only going to save his people, right? He's not coming to save everybody else, right? Go ahead. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coasts of the earth. And it says right here that the, that the Lord's, whoever the Lord's people is, is in the north country, right? When you look at the north country in the Bible, it's usually referring to the land of America, right? Because before anybody else was dwelling here, the, the Israelites were, were uh, prophesied to, to come over into this land, right? And inhabit this land. That's why Christopher Columbus came over here because he read the Bible. He read the book of Second Ezra to know that the, uh, that people were dwelling over here in the Americas. Right? Go ahead. And with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child, and her that traveleth travaileth with child together, a great company shall return hither. All right, kind. Right? Oh, should I read it in uh, in Spanish too? All right, read, read, bring it up in Spanish. Okay. okay. She read it. She read it already. Okay. She read it already. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's get Luke one and sixty-seven. Get it in. You get it in the DSL so Blessed Oil. I'll pull it up on my phone. You get it in Spanish. I'll, I'll, I'll just get it in English on my phone. She says, "Go to John one twelve and thirteen. John one twelve and thirteen. All right. Go to go to the." John uh, 1, 12, and 13. 
Let me see. She wants. Okay. But as many as received him. Okay. One, no, one. One. Not first shot. One. It's regular one. She came with her. But as many as received him to. Here, read this first for me. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man. Uh huh. Right? John 1, right. Good. This is the book of John, chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, right. even to them that believe on his name. Uh huh. God which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. Right, so she wanted us to read that, John John 1. Go to John 8 and 31. She wanted us to read that, right? Because a lot of people key and harp on it says, as many as received him, right? Not of the blood or not of the flesh, right? But they don't, they, a lot of our people forget that more than this is a fleshly thing. Yes, it is, a, it is a spiritual, it is a spiritual thing, right? But it, it says, as many as... God. It says, as many as uh, what is it, as received him, right? Because not not all of the Jews were uh, willing to, to receive Christ at the time, right? So you have to kind of know the chronology uh, the, the chronology of the story and why he's saying it like that, right? Go ahead. Oh yeah, go ahead, tell him. Okay. And that's why it's a harps on saying that. Go ahead. Que ahí está diciendo, obviamente no nomás es ser descendiente de ellos, pero también tener fe. Porque muchos de los judíos aceptaron a Jesús y muchos tampoco no. So ahí está diciendo, yo la va a explicar con un versículo, qué es lo que quiere decir. Y es Juan 8 y 31. Give me, give, give me John 8 in the Spanish so I can read it and then I'll, I'll give it to you to read it in English, on this English. She's going to John 8 right now too. Okay, kind of. So let's go to Juan, Juan, uh, Juan capítulo 8, uh, versículo 30, uh, 31. Right? And it reads, uh, Juan capítulo 8, 8, versículo 31. Entonces Jesús decía a los uh, judíos que uh, habían creído uh, en él, si vosotros per, uh, perme, permaneciés en mi palabra, uh, verdad, uh, verdaderamente sois mis uh, discípulos, right? And then read that on, in English. This is, this is John 8 and 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him. See right there, it says, then said Jesus to those Jews who believed on him, right? Because not all not all of them were in line with uh, under, uh, understanding Christ as pretty much what he came to do, right? They, they weren't in line on, on necessarily believing on his purpose, right? Go ahead. So he's saying, he's talking to Jews who believed, right? Porque hay muchos que no creían. Por ahí está diciendo a los que creían van a pertenecer, perma, uh, van a estar con él, pues. Igual como acaba de decir Juan 1 y 12. No nomás porque son descendientes, sino los que tienen la fe también. Pero todavía son judíos. Ajá. John 8, 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Exactly. So... He said, "If you, the, the ones that believed, if you continue in doing His word, right? Which Christ taught what? He taught him, taught the Israelites to keep the laws, right? Taught them to return back to their heritage, right? As quiet as kept in the church, they don't tell you that. But He taught them to keep the laws and to go out and teach the and, and teach the true teachings of God to the rest of uh, the the Israelites who are scattered abroad, right? So uh, Matthew uh, sixteen, you say sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, chap uh, chapter 16, verse 13 to 16. So, uh, we'll go to um, Mateo, uh, capítulo uh, 15, uh, not 15, uh, this is, this is yes, uh, versículo, uh, what, 13 to 16? Oh, yeah, uh, 13 uh, to, uh, oh, this is yes. Uh, so, it says, Cuando llegó uh, Jesús a la ri, li, uh, región de uh, Cesarea de Filipo, Filipo pregunta a sus uh, discípulos, diciendo, ¿Quién dicen los hombres que es, en, es el uh, hijo uh, del hombre? 
uh, uh, y ellos dijeron unos Juan el Bautista y otros el Elias, pero otros Hermías o uno de, uh, de los profetas. Él les, él les dijo, ¿y vosotros quién dices que uh, soy yo? Uh, respondiendo si, uh, Simón Pedro, uh, dijo, tú eres el Cristo, el Hijo del Dios viviente. Right, so, uh, acá, uh, 17, y Jesús respondiendo, uh, le dijo, bien, bien aventurado, eres Simón, hijo de uh, Onas, porque esto no te lo revelo uh, carne ni sangre, sino mi Padre que es, está en los cielos. Right, so read that in English real quick. So like you. This word gonna go out to our people whichever way we we figure out through the spirit of the most high, man. Right. Through the spirit of the speaking most high, right man. Now. Speaking it speaking in tongues. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 13 to 17. Right. When Jesus came into into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I that I the son of man am. So he's even asking the disciples, like, what are people saying about me? Like, who do, who do they think that I am? Who are they saying that I am, right? Go ahead. And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some people say that you are John the Baptist, right? And this goes into another topic of uh, uh, re reincarnation, as they call it in the Bible, regeneration. Go ahead. Some, Elias, and others, Jer Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. He saith unto them, Hold on. So they all thought he was just a regenerated prophet from the Old Testament, right? They thought he was uh, Jeremiah, Isaiah. They, they thought he was Elijah. They didn't know who he necessarily was, right? Go ahead. He saith unto them, but but whom say ye that I am? But who do you say I am, right? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. So Simon knew that he was Christ, right? He knew that he was uh, the, the, the Messiah, right? Because... If you follow the prophecies and know about the prophecies that are spoken about in the Old Testament, then then a lot more of them would have known that this was supposed to be the man that was supposed to come and die for them, right? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, son Simon, Barjona, Barjo, for flesh and blood hath not re revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So flesh and blood didn't reveal that unto him, but the Holy Spirit revealed that to John, right? I mean to, uh, to Simon, right? Go ahead. Yeah. Solo está diciendo ahí con eso. Habían judíos que, que casi no creían en él, ¿verdad? decían, eres un profeta, eres Jeremías. Pero cuando Pedro dijo, tú eres el Cristo, él creía en él. Come, y le come. dijo Jesús que no es sangre ni, ni la carne que te lo reveló, sino el espíritu. Pero Pedro, todavía es israelita, todos los, los discípulos son israelitas. So Juan 1 no está diciendo que cualquier persona está diciendo los que creen en él. ¿verdad? Tienen el Espíritu, que los que crean en Jesús tienen el Espíritu. Ellos son los hijos de Dios, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que está diciendo eso. Psalms So, Salmas uh, 118, uh, versículo uh, 20, 22. Uh, uh, 22. Uh, la piedra que des, de, uh, desecharon los erfacadores uh, ha, ha venido a ser la piedra principal del uh, águilo. Right, so read that in in the English for you real quick. So like, and sorry for the people who are having a hard time understanding this. We try to make this as, as easy as possible so we can teach our, our people who speak different languages, man. Like the like the prophets did, man. Got to speak in tongues sometime, right? Go ahead. There's the book of prop, uh, book of Psalms, one eighteen and verse twenty two. 
The stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. God, and just like uh, uh, the, the officer said, man, right? This was supposed to be uh, uh, relating to the prophecy of Christ coming and being uh, pretty much rejected. That's why it said the stone which they refused, right? Because we see in the, in the New Testament, Christ is referred to as the rock, right? Even in the Old Testament, we see him being, like in Daniel, being referred to as the stone, right? So he's, the, he's that, that stone that they was talking about they were going to refuse, right? Because the, uh, some of the Jews were rejecting him too at first, right? Go ahead. Oh, that's it on that, huh? So, igual está diciendo ahí que Cristo es la piedra que los demás iban a rechazar, pero él vino a, a por los que creen en él, ellos son los que son aceptados, ¿no? Ask her this for me. Uh, uh, ask her if she's Catholic for me. ¿Es católica? No. Oh. ¿Qué es? Christian. Christian? Okay, so, uh, you, yeah, you can be my translator. They all, they all span out of the same, the same doctrine, right? Christianity and Catholicism. Even Islam is quiet as kept. They all span out of the same doctrine with slightly different, uh, not beliefs, but slightly different, uh, what do you call that? Theologies, yeah, kind. Of. Slightly different theologies, right? Pero muchos son la misma teología, ¿no? Muchos creen la misma cosa, cristiano, católico, ¿no? So the Catholics are idolaters, that's the difference. That's Catholics are idolaters. Okay, are the Christians idolaters? Los cristianos son... Idolatras? Says no. Do, do they put? Yeah. Okay. Do you celebrate holidays? Celebras días como Navidad y eso? She says no. Hey, all praise to the Most High. Yeah. Do you do do you do you, uh, do you support the cross? Where? Like, usas una cruz? Do you wear one? She says no. Hey. I'll just say that this is a powerful sister for her to be a Christian because you're you're actually keeping the laws of God by not not celebrating holidays. But I'll say Christians do uh, participate in our idolatry because a lot of them celebrate holidays and a lot of them support and bow down to that cross, right? Give me that in, uh, in, in Deuteronomy, right? Sí. Por Actually, no, 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 hold that. Evangelical Christian. That's what she's an evangelical Christian? Evangelical. Oh, okay, evangelist. Okay. So she teaches okay, okay. So, she, you. She says, yes, yeah, she teaches. She teaches? All right. You. You Okay. Well, okay, so let me ask you this. What, is, what does the Bible say about. And, and I'm not going to. Uh, make sure you say this for me. I'm not making this misogynic, as they call it, right? But what does the, uh, the Bible say about women teaching? Okay. Dice que no quiere ser como uh, First salir Timothy, mal, pero está diciendo qué dice la Biblia de las mujeres enseñando. Yeah. Yeah. Que no es permitido, no lo tenemos permitido. She says it's permitted, but she's allowed to teach young women. I like her, man. She likes it. She knows her Bible, man. I like her. Okay. She says she can't be a pastor, but she can be the wife of a pastor. Okay, I mean, hey, that's not a problem. Let me let me ask you this: Has your church what has your ter church taught you who you are in the Bible, or wh what people you go back to? Tu iglesia te ha enseñado quién eres tú en la Biblia, de quién desciendes en la Biblia. La tu iglesia te ha enseñado quién eres tú en la Biblia, de quién desciendes, de qué gente. La Biblia me ha enseñado eso, sí. De qué gente desciendes. Gentile. She's a Gentile. What, okay. What if uh, What if I could prove to you that you're you're what, what ethnicity are you actually? Let's start there. De que, que es tu, de, From your father's side. Tu padre que, que nacionalidad es? Colombiano. Colombiano. Colombian. Colombian. What if I can pro prove to you you're an Israelite according to the Bible? Y si te podemos comprobar que eres israelita. She says, in one way or another, all of us descend from Israel. All of us? Todos? She says, well, everything started in Israel. 
not necessarily. Not, 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 not necessarily. I mean, I, I would say around that, that, that landmass, yeah, everything started in what they identify as Africa, right? And Israel is in Africa, quiet as kept, like northeast, of, northeast Africa. But not everybody was the same people because did, did God not divide the nations? Porque dice, muchos vinimos como de esa área de, de África. Dice, nations. pero que también Dios no dividió a toda la gente, solo nomás todos son la misma, yeah. dividió a la gente. So she's saying that. Look, look, that's, that's I got thing. you. I'll, I'll answer. You. I'll answer that in English for you too, right? She said everything got divided in the Tower of Babel. So if everything got divided in the Tower of Babel, how are we all the same then? So si todo se dividió, cómo somos todos lo mismo? Everything after Noah, we all come, like, got divided after that. Okay. Let me, all right, before we read this, okay, so she said we're all, we're all, you said we're all Israelites, right? Everybody's an Israelite, right? Todos son Israelitas. She says not everybody's Israelites. Okay, so she went back on, I was just going to say, were, are there not people that were, that already were made before Israel, but, okay. Yeah, uh, porque no es posible porque mucha gente había antes that? que Israel era Matthew nación. Matthew 25, 31? Okay, let me pull it up. Right. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. Go ahead. Matthew what? 25, 31. 25, 31. Son of man shall all his angels with him, and he shall sit upon a throne. Oh, yeah, and then go to go all the way to verse 33. So let's, uh, oh, I got you. So uh, this is um, Mateo, versículo, I mean, uh, capítulo uh, 20. 25, uh, capítulo uh, 31 through 30, 33. Uh, pero cuando el Hijo del Hombre venga en su gloria y todos los ángeles con él, entonces se sentará en el trono de su gloria. Uh, 30, 32. Uh, y serán reunidas delante de, de el todas el todas las naciones y separará a unas de otros como el pastor separa las ovejas de los uh, cabritos um, 33 uh, y pondrá uh, las ovejas a su derecha y los cabritos a su izquierda right so Read that in uh, English for us, right? So we can break it down. And it's going to answer your question too, right? This is the book of, Ma book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 31. This is red letter. This is the words of Christ, right? Go ahead. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Who's the Son of Man? ¿Quién es el Hijo de Hombre? ¿Quién es el Hijo de Hombre en ese versículo? She says, oh, what verse? Uh, 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 yeah. Mateo 25 y 31. She want me to read it again for the top? No, she, she's reading it too. Okay. She, it. she says that's Jesus. Okay, that's Jesus? Okay, perfect, right. So this is Jesus prophesying about himself. Read it from the top. Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Uh -huh. Verse 32. And before him shall he shall be gathered all nations. So before Christ shall be gathered all nations, right? All the nations are going to be gathered up, right? Go ahead. And he shall separate them. He shall what? He shall separate them uh -huh. one from another. Uh-huh. As a shepherd divided the sheep from the goats. So he's saying he's going to separate, he's going to separate the nations, right? Just as much as you you separate two different species of animals. That's how Christ is going to come back and separate people by their own lot, by their own inheritance, by their own nation. He's going to separate the sheep from the goats, right? Go ahead. So basically, the the the, the wicked who are the other nations, right, and the, the the Israelites that don't want to keep the commandments. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 because they're going to be destroyed. I'm tripping. The the other nations, right? They're going to be separated from us. That's that's what it's talking about. I'm tripping. Slack. 
verse 33, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. Okay, so he's going to separate. Yeah, Israel is the sheep and then the goats is the, the other nations. He's going to separate us one from another, right? Go, uh, so ahí está, dice, Cristo va a dividir las naciones y va a traer a sus ovejas y las ovejas de Dios, de Jesús son quién? Que son qué gente? Give me a. She said, the sheep are anybody who pertains, who maintains in Jesus' word, though. He said the sheep that it can be anybody. So the sheep can be anybody. Okay, yeah. ¿Cómo compruebas eso? How do you... I got it. I got so. She said the same thing. John one, John one. And, and, she, and, and she said that any, anybody that walks in Jesus's word, anybody who believes. It, so do you only have to believe, or is there something you got to do to prove that you believe in in, in Christ and in, in God? Okay. So no más creyendo en él, o no tienes que hacer nada, no más creer en él. Yeah, give me that one. Give me that one. Okay. okay. She says, yes, believe and also practice and do everything that the Bible says. All right. So, give, yeah, give me, go to Acts real quick, right? In this Acts 2, that's right. Uh, let me see. Ye men of Israel. Separating of all nations, though. When does that take place? How does that tie in? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, so si todos son cualquier persona son las ovejas, ¿por qué dice ahí que va, yeah, que yeah, va yeah, a separar las naciones? Or just give me 20 verse 21, right? She said she doesn't know she hasn't really read it. So how does she? La Biblia dice que el hablar tantas cosas. Okay. Okay. She says that you're. She feels like you're using an opportunity that you can be teaching people to repent instead, that because that's the most important thing. But I am what, teaching what, them what, to repent. What always asked okay. Christ's word is what we're reading. Okay. He's separating nations when he comes back. Period. Okay. Dice que sí. Pero right, con la pregunta yeah, que le acabamos de hacer con el versículo donde dice yeah, que va a separar a las naciones, ¿eso right. qué? ¿Lo vamos a ignorar o qué vamos a hacer con eso? ¿Qué versículo dice que es? Mateo 25 down. y 31. Mateo 25 y 31. ¿Qué es lo que dice? No, eso es lo que dice. Sí, eso es lo que dice. 25, 31, 32 y 33. Y todavía no ha pasado. Yeah, y por qué y por qué si es después de Jesús todavía la gente está va dividida a las naciones. And that's the perfect example. If Christ was coming back here to save everybody, why is he separating the nations? If if all the nations are already gathered, why is he not saving them together? What's yeah. happening there? Dice si todas las naciones están juntas ahí, ¿por qué no salva a todos? ¿Por qué los está dividiendo todavía uh, después? Revelation 1 to 7. Okay. We get we we'll get that after after. after. Okay. Apocalipsis, capítulo 1, versículo 7. Yeah. She just ran. No problem. Now it's up to you. But I'm not going to let her escape. Kind, kind. I knew she was talking outside of the 
So you're saying that pretty much is getting people to repent and come back to it, and then later uh, God is going to give you the understanding of everything. But that that I mean, that is not fine, important. But that's not that, that's not what Christ did. Yeah. That's, that's, not that's not what Christ did. That's not what Christ did. So. And, and, oh, dang! I just had a. And, God didn't call everybody either. Yeah. We can go to we can go to those verses. We're, it's not a verse where God calls everybody. There, yeah, we go. Que dicen? She says it doesn't say nations. Pero diciendo que, como que. O sea, es a la gente, a la gente la que va a apartar. O sea, dice que va a apartar a las ovejas de los cabritos. Sí, va a llamar a sus naciones y de ahí va a apartar a sus ovejas aparte y sus cabritos aparte. Pero a las naciones no la vas a apartar. Bueno, ahí no dice que va a Pero ¿quién son los cabritos y las ovejas? ¿Qué, qué es la diferencia? A ver, tendría que ser las ovejas del Señor, son los que permanecen en él. Okay. Y los cabritos, pues la gente que quiere vivir como le okay. haga He said that, yes, he's, he's calling all nations, but he's not dividing them by nations. He's dividing them by people, that the sheep are the people who the people who are uh, doing what God says, and the other ones are people who are doing whatever they want. Well, I mean, this. where does it say that? That's what she, that's what she got there. Ask, ask her this. Who, who, who this says the sheep and goats in that? Yeah. So who are the sheep? The ones that are doing God's will. Can she get, get this real quick. Okay. Dice, puedes comprobar que las ovejas son... Los que hacen pues lo que dice la Biblia. She says she's gonna get the dagger right now. She says she's gonna get the dagger. I got. She's putting out the verse. Dad, can you prove that the sheep are the ones that are doing God's will? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I bring this verse out real quick? Uh, Isaiah. She's, she's looking up a Hold verse. I mean, you can read it in English, but yeah. Okay. Give, uh, I'm gonna get Isaiah 43 and one, right? Because she keeps talking about who God called, right? Let's just see who God called by name. Let's let's see who God called. We can see who God called. Isaiah 43 and 1. And then Isaiah. Oh, no. Okay. Dr no. Get Isaiah 43 and 1. Then go to Isaiah 45 and 4, right? Where, where is she going right now? Ask, ask, ask her. She's trying to prove who the sheep was. Yeah. Ask her. Okay. Okay. We get, we get, we get, we get. Well, so John 10, 27, well, and 28. Ask her, hold on, hold on. Ask her, we, well, let's stay on point. Who did God call by name? That's, that's, that's the precept she's getting for you. John what? John 10, 27, 28. John 10, 20, okay, go to her precept real quick. John 10, 27. It's 27, 28, and 29. Somebody on Bluetooth right now? I don't know, it's telling. John 10. John 10? John 10, 27, 28, and 29. John 10, 27, 28, and 29. All right, uh, read it real quick. But, but, hold on, wait a minute. Who are the sheep? The, okay, yeah, so eso va a explicar. Eso va a explicar quién son las ovejas. Hey, you're not a Jew, you're a dirty rat. That's what you are. Yeah. Go ahead, ask her. Hey, somebody, 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 somebody handle that, bro. Help yourself. Do not talk to me if you're God. Sister, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. She'll be at children Bible school. You're doing too much. And she wouldn't be out here. You're doing too much. Go ahead. So ask, ask her. Ask her who the sheep are. Yeah. She's, she's, she's running sheep away from her. Okay. Right so so that's a song you see. I go to a Bible study school. I know sister, where my sister, children are. That's fine. Cool. You're doing too cool. much. She You're doing too much. You're doing too much. That's the Bible study. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. I know kids. Everybody face. And you're doing too much. 
You do it to my sister? She don't Sober up. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Katara one last. Sober up. Sister, 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 you need to sober up. You need to sober up. My name is Squeeze. You're getting, in, you're getting in between the word of God. You're being a demon right now, sister. Chill out. Go ahead. Wait. No, you do it. That's her daughter. That's her daughter. Knock it off. Listen, that's her daughter. What are you talking about somebody else's daughter for? You talking about somebody else's daughter. Hermana. Hermana. You talking about somebody else's daughter. Knock it off. You can come over here. Knock it off. Knock it off. Uh, ask her, ask her, ask her the question. I don't want her to, you know. Yeah. You doing way too much. You, listen, you being a demon right now. This is bro, this crazy. is really ridiculous, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, ask her. Okay. So, that's not your job. That's not your job. Go ahead. Okay. So you said que si el versículo que this is crazy, bro. Just turn it on. Just turn it on. We're right here too. Yeah. I, I, I don't even got my thing on. All right. We got okay. to yell. Go ahead. So he says, "En el versículo que usted trajo, Juan diez, eso va a explicar quién son las ovejas." Claro, ahí dice. She said, "Yeah, that verse that she, John ten, is going to explain who the sheep are." It's going to explain who the sheep are. Okay. All right. Let's see it. Go ahead, read it. Be loud. This is the book of John. Verse 27 to 29, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. So that, that scripture is very vague. So. He's, I, I, you said it's, it's pointing to who his sheep are, but it's not telling you who his sheep are. Where, where can I find who he's talking to right here? So, ¿a quién podemos encontrar ahí que le está hablando? ¿Con qué gente está hablando ahí? Pues son ovejas. Ovejas quiere decir la gente que permanece. Mire. Si pero, pero alguien... está preguntando con qué gente está hablando en ese momento. ¿A quién le estaba diciendo eso? A los judíos. He said he was speaking. She, he was speaking to the Jews. He was, exactly. So, exactly. You just you just proved our point. If he's if he's speaking to the Jews, it was it was that that conversation was between him and the Jews. It wasn't for it wasn't between everybody else. Like everybody wasn't receiving the message. If you know what I'm saying, right? You say que ese ahí en ese cuando estaba hablando con él estaba hablando con los judíos. So ese mensaje no es para todos, sino más le está diciendo a los judíos eso. Yeah, we go back. No, get get the one he was first. He called for Matthew. What Matthew 15 and what? Matthew 10 and 5. Uh, 10 and 5 actually. Matthew 10 and 5? Yeah. yeah. Matthew 10 and 5. Yes. Yeah. Alright. Uh, you said, what church are we? Huh? What church are we? Uh, so the we're true we're the true church. Yeah, the real church right. of God. Right. You said, like, Iglesia de verdad. We're the Israelites. You're an Israelite. Give me that in Matthew real quick. I mean, that, that, that one. I'll, I'll read it in English. What did you Said, oh, like, okay. Ma Ma you don't believe you're an Israelite? No crees que eres Israelita? De alguna manera sí, pero originalmente soy colombiana. She says, in some way, what sure, but she's what Colombian. What does Colombian mean? What does Colombian mean? ¿Qué quiere decir Colombia? Eh, Who's Colombian named after? Es mi nacionalidad. Es pero el de, país donde nací. What was Colombian named after? ¿Cómo le, ¿Por qué le ponieron el nombre Colombia, Colombia? Ah, no sé historia. She says she doesn't know history. Christopher Columbus. Porque Cristóbal Colón. <laughs> yeah, right or wrong. So, se llamó Colombia porque Cristóbal Colón. Sí o, ¿verdad? Sí o no. No fueron conquistados. Por Colón. He says no, not by Christopher Columbus. Columbus. Who was named after? Y de dónde agarramos ese nombre? Libertador se llama Simón Bolívar. Colombia se llamó de ese hombre. Sí. He said he was he was named after a guy named Simon. But believe, what, como? Simon K? Simon Bolivar. He's who, he he's named who Columbia. freed them from, yeah. He freed them from? Que los libero de quien? Creo que de los españoles, creo yo. From the Spaniards. But you speak Spanish right now. Yeah. Por hablas español. Was that the original language of the people of that land? Ese era el lenguaje original de esa gente? 
So how do you free you if you speak their language? Just like we, just like I speak English, you speak Spanish. We both got conquered by Europeans. Igual como él habla inglés y todos los españoles fueron conquistados por los españoles, ¿verdad? So, and, and, and that's prophesied in the Bible that was happening to the Israelites. Y eso está profetizado en la Biblia que eso iba a pasarle a los israelitas. Have you read that before? Has leído eso. Has leído eso antes? Sí, ya 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 entiendo lo que quiere decir. She says, okay, she's understanding what you're saying. Yeah. If you didn't speak Spanish before the conquistadors came, what were you guys doing? What were you guys practicing? Antes, okay, so antes de que los conquistadores llegaran, ¿qué es lo que estaban haciendo los de Colombia? ¿Qué son sus uh, culturas? So like, tell her, tell her, we're going to get to showing how the, Colum the Colombians fit the, the biblical prophecies of the Old Testament that you guys are Israelites. Okay. Make a job. Tell her that. Okay, hold on. So, ahí está diciendo, si nomás buscas como por qué se llama Colombia, Colombia, es por Cristóbal. Christopher Columbus, Cristóbal Colón. Por eso se llama Colombia, Colombia. I know you don't, you don't, read, you don't read English, right? You don't read English? Says, yes, dice, no entiendes inglés, pero hay, claramente se está diciendo que Colombia es nombrado por un hombre que llegó y invadió. Entonces, él lo que está diciendo es, antes de eso, éramos otra gente, no nomás porque eres colombiana, es, es, ahí es todo. So, él, ellos están diciendo que van, pueden explicar cómo los de Colombia son Israelitas. She says, yeah, she's getting, she's, now she's understanding yeah, what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, yeah, she wasn't getting the explanation that way. She didn't understand what you were trying to say at first by saying that. Columbia was named after Columbus? No, that the Israelite thing. That she wasn't getting that. What do you mean? How that connects to her? Yeah. In reference to what? Just how she was named after, oh, as far as the saying in the Bible, that's what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll get that okay. one and then you get the Isaiah. Go ahead. So watch this, right? Give me that well, if you don't know how to break it down, uh, I'll, I'll break it. Oh, no, that's all good. Uh, let me pull yeah, it first up. read Matthew 10 and 5. Don't, don't read that. And then get Psalms 103. Got it. Chapter 100, verse 3. So this is uh, Mateo, uh, capítulo 10, y, uh, Where are you reading? Versículo 5, uh, Matthew. Matthew 10 and 5. Yeah. Uh, a estos 12 envió Jesús después en... Instruirlos diciendo: No vaya, no vayas por el camino de los gentiles uh, y no entrayas en ninguna ciudad de, uh, de los sam samaritanos. Right? So read that. Oh, oh verse, uh, uh, versículo 6. Uh, Sino ir más bien a las ovejas perdidas. Uh, de la casa de Israel, right? So read that in 5 and 6. Where is she at right now? The same verse. Matthew, yeah. yeah. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5 and 6. These 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, So he told his 12 disciples to do this. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Don't go in the way of the Gentiles, right? Don't go to the Gentiles. Go ahead. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. So just like how you were saying, like, he was talking to the Jews, right? So they were commanded to go to speak to the Jews first. He said, don't even go to the, the Gentiles or the Samaritans, right? Jesus said, no vaya con los gentiles, ¿verdad? Go ahead. Verse 6. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So go to the scattered, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's being possessive. He's not saying go to the world and go teach everybody. He just said, don't even go to the Gentiles. Teach my people, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? And that's the sheep and that's, that's going to hear his voice. And that's the sheep that's going to hear his voice, right? Jesus said, no vayas a los gentiles y no veas las ovejas perdidas de Israel. You mean that Psalms now? You said Psalms 103. No todo el mundo, no todos los israelitas que son en todo, entre todo el mundo. So it is Psalms 100 verse 3. Psalms, capítulo 100. Versículo 3. 103. 103. 100 verse 3. Oh, 100 versículo 3. Salmo 100 versículo 3. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Salmo, okay. Salmo 100 versículo 3. Uh, Sabed que él, el Señor, es Dios. Él nos hizo uh, y nos nosotros a nosotros mismos. Pueblo uh, suyo somos y ovejas de su uh, prado. Right? So Psalms... Uh, 
Psalms chapter 100 and verse 3 in the English, right? It says, verse 3, Know ye that the Lord, he is God, right? Know ye that Yahweh, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So just right there in the, in the Psalms, right? In Solomon's, Israel is the Lord's sheep, right? Give me, give me that in Isaiah 43 real quick. And this is going to show you what it says. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what this is going to tell you tell you where where who's called by the Lord's name, right? And God don't change. Yeah. Dios no cambia, verdad? He says no. 43 and uh uh 45 and 17. Oh, four, that's what I'm looking for, yeah, 45 and 4, give me 4, 45 and 4. Isaías 45 and 4. Okay, uh, how do you say Isaiah? Isaías. Oh, yeah, Is Isaías, uh, what's that, 14 and 5? 45. Oh, four, oh, yeah, 45, uh, versículo 4, right? And it says, uh, Por amor a mi siervo Jacob y a Israel, mi escogido, te, uh, te, Tehi llamado por tu uh, nombre, uh, tehi guardado, uh, aunque no me conocias, right? So read that, 45 and 4 again. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, thou that, thou, though thou hast not known me. So the Lord called the Israelites by name. When they start talking about, oh, being called and doing the Lord's will, we're the only people that were given the laws of God, and we're the only people that the Most High God called called His own people. Give me that. Uh, let me get that in Amos real quick. Okay. So está diciendo que solamente los israelitas son los que han sido llamados. Solamente las personas que han fueron dadas las leyes. So ellos son los únicos que pueden hacer las cosas que Dios quiere requiere de ellos. Porque son las únicas personas que le dieron las leyes y todo. Oh, verse 3, right? So, Amos, uh, capítulo uh, 13, uh, versículo 8 y uh, 12, right? Uh, Amos, what again? Amos 3 and 1. Oh, Amos 3, versículo 1. And, and through 2, right? It says, hoy esta palabra que el Señor ha hablando ha hablado co, uh, contra vosotros hijos de Israel contra toda la familia que hizo subir de la tierra de Egipto diciendo soy uh, solo a vosotros uh, he escogido de todas las familias de la tierra por eso oh, os uh, castigare uh, por todos vuest, uh, vuestras uh, iniquidades, right? So, here, read that in, uh, in English. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You have I only known of all the families of the earth, Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So right here in the Old Testament, right, which is why they, they tell us not to even look at it, right? Because they, they, they sell us the idea that everybody's an Israelite, we're all Gentiles, right? So dice que en el Viejo Testamento, por eso muchas iglesias dicen que no leas el Viejo Testamento. And, they, sell, and they, they tell us that we're all God's people. Y ahora te dicen que todos son los hijos de Dios. But right here in Amos, the Most High said he only knew Israel as his people. He only knew Israel and dealt with them as a, as a uh, nation. Pero aquí en Amos está diciendo que él solamente ha escogido a Israel de todos los pueblos de la tierra. So can I prove to you that you're an Israelite? So te podemos comprobar que usted es israelita? Sí. Huh? <laughs> so yeah. Give me, give me, give me, uh, give me Deuteronomy uh, 28, man. Y el versículo, el capítulo donde va, va a estar yeah, es Deuteronomio 28. Todo el capítulo está aquí. And you, uh, I, got a, I got some sources that I need you to translate when I read it. Bob for the shot, right? So, yeah, I'm going to bring it up. Okay. Uh, start at verse 1, right? 
so ask her, you know the story of Moses and the Israelites? She said, yeah. Yeah, que si sabe la historia de Moisés y los Israelitas. So you you know how they left they left out of captivity from the Egyptians, right? They left out of slavery, right? Yeah, so se fueron de Egipto, uh, de cautividad en Egipto y se fueron de ahí, ¿verdad? Con Moisés. Okay, so Moses, this is Moses getting the getting the words from God to tell the Israelites prophecy of what was going to happen to them in the later day, in the latter days. So este capítulo está hablando de profecías de cosas que le iban a pasar a los israelitas después en el futuro, ¿verdad? All right. So uh, Deuteronomio uh, capítulo 1 uh, I mean uh, cap capítulo uh, 28 uh, versículo 1. Uh, y su uh, y su sucederá que es sucederá if anything, she's reading it in Spanish already. Okay. Y sucederá que que si obedeces diligentemente al Señor tu Dios, cuidando de cumplir todos sus mandamientos que yo te mando hoy, el Señor tu Dios te pondrá en alto sobre todas las naciones de la tierra. So, for in English, in summary. The Most High was telling Moses, right? He was saying, "This is tell the children of Israel that if you keep my commandments, you're going to be blessed, right? You're going to be blessed with land. You're going to be blessed with uh, agricultural riches. You're, you're just going to be blessed and be above everybody else on earth, right?" So he's saying that he told him to Moses that he told the Israelites, "If you keep the commandments and everything, they will be blessed and they will be above all the nations of the earth." So from verse 1 all the way to 15, God is listing out all the blessings he would have gave Israel. So de 1 a 15 está diciendo todas las bendiciones. Verse 15, all right. Versículo 15, right? But at verse 15, there's a there's a there's a opposing side. If you don't if you don't keep my commandments, then you will be cursed. You will receive curses. And it lists out the curses. Pero si no, los haces en capítulo versículo 15 para adelante son maldiciones. Right? So uh, versículo 15. Uh, pero sucederá que si no ob ob obedeces al Señor tu Dios, uh, guardando todos sus mandamientos y esta esta estaturas que te. Those are ones. He says she has to go though, but if we're here every Saturday. Okay, yeah. The, uh, tell her to look up Sakari Santos. Look up look up Sakari Santos. In YouTube, tenemos un canal que se llama Sicari Santos y ahí son todas las lecciones en español que and, tenemos también y aquí estamos cada sábado tell her everything in, you, in everything in the Old Testament in the Bible it's Latin and uh, black history about us going into slavery all those prophecies fit us that didn't happen to everybody else on earth so this book we have to hold to ourselves because it's the book God gave us for us so está diciendo sí y, pero también te quiere decir que desde los Deuteronomio exactly. 28 Todas las profecías, todas las maldiciones, los trompan los latinos y los morenos, que nosotros somos las ovejas perdidas de Israel. What, one last thing. We're, we're, we have to be the lost sheep because everybody else knows who they are. We're the only people that don't know who we are, so who else is lost out here? Dice que nosotros tenemos que ser las ovejas perdidas porque todas las otras naciones saben quién detienen ellos, pero nosotros no. So, como, so somos per, las, las, las ovejas perdidas. Exactly, yes. right? So, so God bless you, sister. Thank you for coming up, and uh, you guys get home safely. Thank you for your time. Gracias por venir y que lleguen a la casa safe. Tienen volante usted? Volante, tienen un papel de la información que tenemos? Hey, Haram, she got a flyer? Yeah, she has a flyer. All praises. Yeah. You got it. You gave her a Spanish? All praises. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you, and God bless. And with that, man, I uh, like to say, call law, you how about Shimmy Al Shai? That's just like, you know, the Most High puts everything in, 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 you know, He puts everything in order, man, for things like this to happen. We have brothers that can translate, and we're still even able to talk to our sister, man. And with that, we'll, uh, I like to say, call law, you how about Shimmy Al Shai? Shalom.